Hello everyone and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'm playing Midnight Shift, which is a game in which I'll be taking control of a security guard working a night shift in a mannequin storage facility, as things, as you might expect, go bump in the night. Hope you enjoy it, and if you want to try this out yourselves, you can, it's completely free, and I'll leave the link down below in the description. Let's start Midnight Shift. Okay. Simple premise, leave the building. Let's... let's do that, and... Launch myself off the windowsill, I guess. Um, Alright, so there's a storage room here. Which is locked. Okay, I guess we need to find the key for that. As the poisonous gas comes in and begins to fill my lungs. Nice sip of coffee, maybe? No, not for me. Maybe for a colleague. Why aren't there any lights on, really? Why am I forced to use a flashlight? Surely I could just turn them on. Uh... Oh, I see. The storage key is missing. Right, so we obviously need to go in there, don't we? Let's go find that key. Uh, I guess it's not here. If it's here, it wouldn't be missing. Ooh. Yeah, thanks, lightning flash. There's a mannequin. At least this one's not going to come running after me. Right, then. What's that? Oh, it's another note, I think. Yeah. I don't like this place. From someone called W. I like you, W. I think we share the same feelings on things. We'll probably get on a treat. It seems like a fairly small room, honestly. Is there something over there? It seems very brightly lit for some reason. Oh yeah, yeah, there is actually. Is that an item? Oh, it's a storage key. But you said it was missing. <laughs> it's not exactly missing, is it? They just haven't looked properly. Was that there before? Not really sure if it was, to be honest. You weren't. I'd have noticed you. Okay, maybe this isn't poisonous gas. Maybe this is gas with some hallucinogenic properties. And this is just, you know, my anxiety going out of control. I'm seeing things. Yeah. Was that you? Are you bleeding? Is that blood down there? Right. Okay. Well, storage room it is. Isn't this entire place like a storage room, though? <laughs> oh. Wait, you're offering your head? I'd take it if I could, really. Put it back on there, but... Uh, right. Come on. There we go. Storage room. Uh, let's see. This way, I guess. I mean, come on. If you're forcing me to use a flashlight, at least get a flashlight that's worth a shit. Notice about no drugs or alcohol, it looks like. Okay, well, I think I've probably doubled down on both. What the hell are you doing up there? There's plenty of shelves, can't you just find one? That one looks pretty much empty. What we got here then? Oh, that's the exit? And it's locked. Don't I have the key? I'm the security guard. I should have the keys to the external and internal doors, really. Definitely the external ones. Don't tell me that's missing as well. If that's the case, then I'm probably just incompetent. <laughs> oh well. Uh, right, looks like we're... Looking for an exit key. Oh, there's a note here. Didn't see that. Please clean up after yourself. Yeah, okay. And there's a, a lot of shelf room kind of wasted here, it looks like. I'm just waiting for one of these guys to lunge out at me, to be honest. This, I should mention, is kind of a prequel to another game called Urbex, which I think shares a similar premise. Also, by the same developer. Um, that's also a free download, and that's actually kind of worth playing as well. So I'll put both of the links down below in the description. Lots of plastic cups everywhere, or whatever. <laughs> oh, right, okay. <laughs> it wasn't really the heads falling down, it was just the sharp noise that scared me, really. It sounded like it was behind me. Was it you? Did you chuck a load of mannequin heads at me? I was just wondering if you were holding, uh... No, you're not holding anything, because you, 
You have no arms. Yeah, holding the exit key. But it doesn't look like it's around here. Let's try somewhere else. Oh no. Oh shit, you're actually looking at me. Okay, no, oh god, okay, well, let's just see if we can thread the needle here. I'm not gonna get grabbed, nope. What are you pointing at? Uh, what's that? What the fuck is that? Just hanging off the ceiling. Oh shit, I, well, I guess it's the mannequin, right? This way? Didn't go this way, did we? I like the effect, I like the, uh, the sort of video footage. VHS look we've got here with the scan lines or the tracking lines, whatever you want to call them. That's something Urbex I don't think had. He seems to be guiding me around here. Oh. Yeah, looks like there's something here. Uh, yep. Okay, I was certain I'd be surrounded. <laughs> Absolutely certain of it. Preventing me from moving, are they? No, no, of course not. They're pretty quick to move, aren't they? Oh, god damn. There's something very unsettling about mannequins, and I've said it time and time again. I think it's probably the uncanny valley effect. They look human, but not quite human enough. So it's just a little bit off. A little bit unsettling. Oh, okay. That's fine, guys. You're actually blocking the wrong door. I didn't want to go back there anyway. I think this is probably a good time to quit, really. Time to find some other employment somewhere else. Alright. Oh. You know, I'm kind of shocked it's, it's not over. I thought that would just lead to a credit screen. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That was quite nice. Looks like there's something on the wall over here, though. We know about your problem. I know about my problem as well, which is why I'm going to quit first thing tomorrow morning. I don't know what that was. Or where that came from. Oh, boy. Alright, okay. Let's avoid you. Through here. Come on. End of the tape. Oh, okay. Right, so there you go. That was it. That was Midnight Shift, and that was that was okay. Yeah, I thought that was I thought that was pretty good. Um, not all that scary, in my opinion. A little bit unnerving here and there, and I suppose I did get startled by the noise and the the heads falling down. Some nice effects here and there. I like the the look of the video footage. I always like that for whatever reason. Um, yeah, for the most part, I think I was just feeling a general level of being uncomfortable. Just waiting for a mannequin to reach out and grab me through one of the shelves, which never really happened, but, you know, I was feeling kind of tense at times, so I guess that's probably what the developer was going for. And if that's the case, well done, because that's what I got out of it. Um, if you enjoyed watching this and you want to play something a little bit similar, then I would suggest Urbex. Again, I'll leave the link down below in the description if you want to check that out. But, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you back in another video very soon. See you then. Oh, it's a storage key. But you said it was missing. <laughs> it's not exactly missing, is it? They just haven't looked properly. Don't tell me that's missing as well. If that's the case, then I'm probably just incompetent. <laughs> uh, yep. Okay, I was certain I'd be surrounded. <laughs>